All right, Coach Zucker. First off, beautiful facility here at Liberty, uh, just north of Columbus in uh, Powell, Ohio, correct? Correct. All right. Well, we're talking, uh, you guys are having a combine coming up, a college combine for uh, wrestlers, high school wrestling. And uh, it's a great concept. It's something that uh, I covered one earlier in the summer, but talk to me about the idea behind the combine and what you guys are trying to accomplish with it. Well, the combine is going to be on October 3rd. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring in top level talent that's seeking to move on to the next level of wrestling. So uh, we had made a requirement to be a state qualifier to attend this event because we want kids that are serious about moving on. And we're trying to give them an opportunity to be seen by multiple coaches in one site in a controlled environment. So if a coach was going to a tournament to watch a specific wrestler, they may be able to watch them two, three, four times maybe in a four, six hour span. Here, we're putting this in a two, into a two hour window controlling the environment, controlling the warm-ups, the drilling, and then the full go, so a coach can really see what the wrestler is made of and, and how they uh, approach their, their day. Okay, you know, talking to Coach Marinelli, he's a head coach here, you're an assistant coach. Uh, is this something where you're just like, we want kids to get more exposure, we want, you know, I'm looking at the list of teams, it's incredible. Uh, a lot of Big Ten teams, obviously Ohio State's gonna be here. Um, I see, you know, Kent State on the list, Old Dominion on the list. Uh, I, I just I like the list I'm seeing. You know, Indiana, yeah, Edinburgh, uh, Wisconsin, uh, Notre Dame of Ohio, solid Division II team. Got some NAI teams. Got uh, Wheeling Jesuits coming in. We have uh, Ashland, Cumberland. A lot, a lot of it's a good. It's a very diverse group of teams or collection of teams that are coming. So they all have a different need. Uh, the Division II and three programs, NIA, are looking for a little bit different athlete. They want the competitive kid, but they have to maintain the GPA, be able to, to hold the academic um, expectations, as well as wrestle. So, uh, yeah, we got a wide variety of teams coming, and uh, as you said, some of the top D1 teams, good D2 teams, solid D3 teams, so, as well as NAIA. You and Mark sit down and talk about something like this. Is it your brainchild? Is it Mark's brainchild? Whose brainchild is it? Who's, whose initial idea is this? It's all of our ideas. So everybody's bouncing it off each other? We're working as a team to promote wrestling, not only in Central Ohio, but as a sport. We want to utilize our facility. We built this facility to grow the sport. It's great for us, but if we can bring kids in, improve Central Ohio, get more exposure, that, that was one of our main goals. I'm looking at this wrestling room right now, and it's like one of the most, it is the most amazing high school wrestling room I've ever seen personally. You're standing on six mats right now, and it's not like, it's more than six mats actually, because you even got a space in between the, the mats. Uh, this is a facility. You're going to have the combine here. Correct. No, you don't need to go get into a gym. This is bigger than any, any mat space I've ever seen for a place. How old is this facility and, and how good is this for hosting that? We opened the facility last January, February. Um, so the facility is brand new. We, we got to wrestle several matches in here. You wrestled some duels in here? Yes. What we do is we have a seventh mat that we place in the center of the facility. There's a spotlight, an LED spotlight we put on. We put the mat in the center and uh, basically, it's a great environment. Our first match, we had kids um, on their stomachs all around the mat, you know, and people, and it was a standing room only. And we probably had about 1,100 people for the first duel we had, which uh, was a great environment for wrestling, for us, for the league, for everything that happened that night was ex exceptional. So. so having it here, you know, the best high school facility in the country, um, it highlights your facility, but what do you want kids to get out of this? You know, you talk about what the colleges are going to get out of it and then what the athlete they want to look at and the kids are going to get the exposure. What do you really want, you know, the high school athletes of Central Ohio to get out of it? Well, we want them to get more exposure. I mean, really, we want them to get the opportunity to be looked at seriously by coaches at all different levels to hopefully get them a scholarship. It, uh, we also have some major events happening in the month of October with, uh, you got the flow, uh, excuse me, Super 32s are on the 31st and the 1st, and you got the, the Freak Shot in Las Vegas, and then you got the preseason nationals. So there's other events, too, that kids can help prepare for by attending our event and, and have good drill partners and, and uh, good sparring partners and a good practice. So it can act as a, as a practice as well as getting kids opportunities to be seen, demonstrate their abilities, and you know, hopefully help catapult them into a college uh, opportunity. What is the website for, like, how do people, you know, how do we look up on this? Obviously, we're going to try and connect a lot of the information to this. What is the website? Where can people see the information on this? It's www.midwesthighschoolwrestlingcombine.com. Now, that's a mouthful, but uh, it's all one word. So, www.midwesthighschoolwrestlingcombine.com. 
And uh, once you go to that link, we have an information page. It explains what we're going to do that day. We're going to have two sessions. We're going to have registration, and then we're going to go for two hours, have a break, and do two more hours. Um, list the colleges that are participating are going to be on that website, as well as the cost and uh, our information about where the site is and the high school is located. Looking at the, the individuals who've committed to coming to it right now, I, Kyle Lawson goes here now. Correct. He was at Graham. Now he's here. Yes. Okay. He just committed to Wisconsin. He'll be here. Correct. I see Caleb Romero is on the website as well. I see Drew Matten on the website. Uh, I also see World Cadet World team member uh, Dylan D'Amelio. I'm pretty impressed with just the list of guys I just named right there. But you know, looking at that list of guys and bringing guys like that in, how much better will that make the other guys who are maybe just state qualifiers? Well, they're going to raise the level of talent in the room, which is going to raise the level of competition. So um, it's great to have those guys. They're all superstars. They are the top 10% of wrestling, uh, not in Ohio, but nationally. And, and we want to attract them, but this, there's a lot of kids in the sport. And, and this event was probably going to be better for that next tier kid that maybe is a multiple state placer, but not a state champ. Or he's probably an All-American, but maybe not you know, on one or two in the podium. So this event's not only for the elite wrestlers, but it's for the, the kids that put their work in day in and day out that are dedicated to the craft, dedicated to improve, and want to uh, you know, move on in their wrestling career and, and take it to the next level. Six full mats. Will there be a cap on the event as far as participants? 150, we're going to try to cap it on. We're, not, we're trying to not turn anyone away. We are looking at uh, possibly using our, our, another auxiliary gym if we need to. So right now, there, there is no cap on the website. We said 150. Um, this is our first time doing the event. It is our first year. We may have a couple of bumps we need to work through as we move forward. So uh, 150 will probably be it unless we get such a surge that we feel we should open up to more people. Cost. The cost is $100. $100, October 3rd, 150 is the cap as of right now, but you're trying not to cap it. Correct. Deadline for registration is September 16th, so it's a little bit less than two weeks away. That way we're able to identify what we need to do, and uh, every participant is going to get a shirt, so we need to be able to order the gear for the participants, and the shirt's going to help the coaches identify the kids. So when they're looking at someone, they can say, there's number one, you know, who is that? Give them a... The coach has a data sheet about the, t the wrestler so they can see their GPA, their accomplishments, what weight they're at. Um, so we're trying to coordinate everything together to make it easy for both parties, the wrestler and the coach. One more time, the website. The website is www.midwesthighschoolwrestlingcombine.com. Uh, go to the site, check it out. Uh, we had an interview last week with uh, Matt Talk Online. So that's on there as well. Our we, good friend Jason Bryant. Correct. Jason Bryant, we appreciate Flo coming and uh, looking at our facility and asking us uh, about this event. And uh, we appreciate your time. All right. Coach Zucker, you got anything else for me? Have a great weekend. All right. Enjoy, go Bucks. enjoy that. Oh, go Bucks. All right. I knew you had to throw that in there. Hey, thanks for the time. Enjoy the football game today. Thank you.